American pro track and field athletes sacrifice so much for a chance to compete in a multi-billion dollar industry called the Olympics. Yes, multi-billion dollars is how much the Olympics makes and how much do they pay the athletes. I write a whole chapter on it. <laughs> so, which actually, uh, so a multi-billion dollar industry called the Olympic Games, which actually does very little to supplement the athletes in their preparation and pays nothing to those who compete in the games. I know a lot of Olympians and Olympic hopefuls who rack up forty to sixty thousand dollars in credit card debt because it's that's about how much it takes to properly train for the Olympics. Give me a moment to get on my soapbox. Most Olympians are ridiculously poor. This is primarily true around the world, but my focus is on the American athletes and the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic committees. According to a 2012 income service survey survey cited by Forbes, half of the athletes ranked in the top 10 of their events in the U.S. earn less than $15,000 annually from all sources of income. $15,000 per year for all sources of income. So um, I really just dive deep into that because uh, it's very heartfelt, especially now I'm seeing a lot of athletes struggle more and more. The prize money has gone down significantly in track and field. Athletes are really, really struggling. And it's hard to see because when the Olympics airs, you're going to see those commercials play. You're going to see, um, you know, the attention on all these incredible athletes. Well, they don't have any rights to those commercials or they don't even have rights to their, to their own image. Um, so I just think that the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, should do a better job of revenue, revenue sharing from the games to, to hand down to the athletes. The athletes that compete at the Olympics, they don't, they don't get paid a dime, you know, not one dime. The Olympics comes every four years. You think about the NBA championships and those NBA players will, will get a huge bonus for making the NBA team. And the athletes that go to the Olympics, they get nothing. Uh, you know, top three get a medal, but after that, absolutely nothing. So um, I just think the IOC should do a better job with that. And I hope that my book puts pressure on them. I hope that after people read it, they would be encouraged to speak up. And um, I think it could be a game changer for a lot of athletes that are really struggling. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I go on to this and talk about You'll often see Olympic athletes setting up fundraisers to pay for their parents' travel costs to the Olympic Games. Even though the Olympics is a multi-billion dollar industry, the athletes struggle to pay electric bills, work at minimum wage jobs, and set up GoFundMe pages just so their parents can go to the Games. Meanwhile, the International Olympic Committee, the IOC, which calls its presidents and executives volunteers, gives cash handouts, not salaries, in the realm of $250,000 annual allowance and $900 per diems, respectively. My friend are Peter Carl, who manages Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps and is the managing director of the Olympic Action Sports Division at Octagon, helped me compile some data to highlight the financial disparity athletes face. So we just really went in and uh, if you love the Olympics, you love Olympic athletes, or if you like stats, I think you'll really love this chapter. Hey, this is John Acuff, New York Times best-selling author of seven books and someone who's done a live signing. If you like the one you just watched, make sure you check out our YouTube channel. It's full of amazing authors having great conversations and signing books for viewers just like you. So make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching today.